Hi again. So I got tons of requests about the breakdown for the last video and I'm gonna do it again in the breakdown style. This is not a tutorial. Um, if you want a tutorial, just message me down below. Um, maybe we'll figure something out. And hey. all right. Hey, just quit the app and get on with it already. Nobody cares. Yeah, okay. Okay, so anyone wondering um, how my project file looks like, this is it. Um, this is how my sound design looks like. And the way I did all the effects was simply by using magic. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. No, I'm kidding. So the first one was the zoom in transition from the space and this was done with the tutorial from Video Copilot, which I'm gonna link up in the description. Not gonna um, say how I did that. Just go and watch the video. So at the end of the zoom, we've got the um, dome spinning. I've done this by just using simple mask. So I've masked out every part of this dome as a separate part. Um, so you can see it right here. Then simply just rotated it and moved them in such a way that it looks like it's opening. I also added the explosion effect using the Saber plugin, which I've mentioned in the last tutorial. Uh, all I did was just put a few marks and use them as a guidance to the Saber plugin. And that slowly fades away into that wheel. After that, we've got that panning motion uh, along with some forest motion blur and that goes into the cathedral. So this one was done using masks as well. I've got that uh, transparent part uh, onto which I put the, uh, the previous clip. And uh, then there's the revealing from the uh, lantern that was on the street. Here I have a slight vignetting just to look like you're looking through his eyes. So I've added a slight tint effect at the end of the scene just to match it with his eyes. And then you've got a simple zoom out of both eyes. And here I've done the uh, blinking effect using uh, actually two separate effects. Maybe not separate, but made in a different way. So the left one was done using a liquify tool. And this is because the uh, the eye of, is the center of the zoom and by doing that I didn't have to uh, track the liquify position. So that was pretty straightforward. The second eye was done actually uh, using the liquify tool as well, but it was done on a separate image that was tracked to the eye. Okay, so the next one is this second statue showing up. So that was done using the mask on his mask and to make the transition smoother, I just added the uh, mask dropping from outside the clip a few frames before the actual figure comes up in the shot. And the background transition between the statues was done just by using the um, opacity effect. Okay, off to the next one. All right, so this was uh, pretty straightforward as well. I just found two matching shots and placed them one on top of another in such a way that they pretty much uh, were covering the same area and use the shutter effect on the uh, masked out portion of the uh, statue so that it breaks. I've used a simple mask here just to make it seem like the pieces are falling uh, behind the boat and the glowy lines that appear just before it explodes were done using the Saber plugin from Video Copilot. I'll probably leave the link in the description below, just like the last time. Okay, the next one. Um, here is a simple uh, match cut that I did uh, with the lens flare, I believe, yeah, to make the transition more seamless. I've used the lens flare uh, here as well. Let's move to the plane switching into the bird. So that's pretty simple as well. Um, first, I've masked out the building that was uh, in the next shot uh, just to appear a little sooner uh, so the transition would be more smooth and more seamless. Then I've used the uh, 
reshape effect. You can look up the tutorials on how it works, but basically it just uh, changes the one shape uh, into the other using masks. Okay, so the shot after that is this one. So it's pretty simple. Uh, first I've used two masks to show the next clip. And after that I've used the uh, liquify technique that I've used in the Colorado Springs video. You can check out my channel, there's a breakdown of the car passing through using exactly the same technique. And here comes the wobble tower transition. So for this I cut out the tower from inside the Photoshop as well as uh, took the background so when the tower moves uh, there's no black hole behind it. After that um, I animated the tower with the Puppet Warp tool and you can see the keyframes here. And the next shot is done in a similar fashion except this time I've roto brushed the tower and just liquefied the uh, sky behind it just because it was a plain white background it, it was uh, way simpler. And I've matched the tower movement in such a way that they seamlessly uh, go through the motion and it makes for a smoother transition. Okay, so the next one is just building, expanding uh, further into the background. Okay, so the way I did that is um, I took this shot into the Photoshop and removed the church and expanded the pieces uh, into the background and tracked the whole shot. That's basically it. And it's quite simple, but pretty time consuming. Okay, for this one, it's a simple match cut, but with a little twist. Uh, I just did three copies of the next clip and masked it out in such a way that they come uh, in parts. So the column on the left drops down, then the column on the right, and then the whole thing. So it makes for a smoother transition. And the last one. Um, the last one is also um, quite simple. It's just uh, tilting camera up and speeding up as well as playing with the uh, opacity of the shot while uh, transitioning into the next one. As you can see, there's slight scale slash zoom in going on. So it matches the next movement. And this is it, that's the whole clip. Um, honestly, it's nothing really complicated. And maybe if you guys want to see um, a tutorial, like a typical step-by-step, -step, uh, let me know in the comments. I may do something, uh, for example, for this tower wobbling. I haven't seen that anywhere, so, so let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.